Hello everyone. From last a few videos, I have been discussing this unit. But in those three videos, I have discussed about the adversarial system and inquisitorial system, which are part of basically litigation. So from today, I will start ADR, that is alternative dispute resolution. So the first thing that I believe definitely comes in your mind, that is what? I mean, what is alternative dispute resolution? So let's understand first about this term. Alternative dispute resolution or simply ADR refers to a set of practices and techniques focusing on the resolution of legal dispute outside the courts. So pay attention. What is important in this sentence is it is a set of practices and techniques to resolve the dispute outside the court okay so it is a technique that resolves the dispute but outside the court okay it is non-adversarial and flexible techniques of adjudication of legal disputes i believe now you must aware with the term adversarial as we have discussed in detail hai na? So it is non-adversarial as adversarial is judicial methods okay that is the method of litigation especially in India hai na? so it is non-adversarial and flexible techniques of adjudication of legal dispute which largely involves different methods including arbitration mediation conciliation loka dalat etc okay so all these are the types of ADR that is alternative dispute resolution okay so i believe you must understood what all about the adr is so now let's check out a little its historical background the history of adr is centuries old during the vedic age india had had well established specialized tribunals such as kula that is for disputes of family community, tribe, castes, races, etc. Secondly, Shreni, that was for internal disputes in business, corporation of artisans, and Puga, which was for association of traders, commerce, branches. Okay, so these were the methods, a specialized tribunals to resolve the disputes. For the family, it is known as Kula for the business or corporation it, it was known as Shreni and for association of traders commerce it was known as Puga okay in these institutions interest-based negotiations were prevalent under which a neutral third party intended to identify the underlying needs and concerns of the parties in dispute so see how beautifully the dispute resolution methods were practiced at that time in addition to this even in modern india people's courts that is loka dalat or panchayat are pretty popular especially in village area of india along with this the modern means of adr also developed such as arbitration mediation and conciliation okay but don't worry i will discuss all these terms in detail likewise wide range of methods and processes are developed under the heading of alternative dispute resolution okay now you have the brief background about the adr so let's start with its meaning so what does it mean alternative to the adjudication through the court proceedings or litigation are referred as alternative dispute resolution technique so it is alternative of what that is alternative of litigation Hana? under this method normally a third party referred to as neutral assists the parties in the disputes to make a commonly agreed decision through acceptable agreement okay so what is happening here see in this system a 
third party who is supposed to be neutral and he plays a role through which what he does he assists the parties who are in disputes and help them to make a commonly agreed decision okay secondly the referee you can call him referee the person who is neutral and trying to help out these parties who are in dispute sometimes also facilitates the parties in conflict to arrive a common solution okay so what it does in the first sentence it is saying that referee helps or assists to make a decision secondly the referee also facilitates the parties to arrive on a common solution so it is a sort of win win situation interestingly such methods preserve the personal and professional relationship by resolving the dispute in friendly manner which normally not possible through litigation and in case to maintain the healthy relationship between the parties see how beautiful it is it is not only resolving the dispute but at the same time it also preserves and maintains the healthy relationship between the parties okay so i believe now you must understood the meaning and concept of adr so let's discuss its benefits okay following are the significant benefits of adr adr is flexible mode of dispute resolution as flexible in what sense as parties have the choice to choose place date time and arbitrator or mediator so here parties have the freedom to choose the things to decide the things okay secondly adr is less formal technique of dispute resolution in comparison to litigation that is complete formal it is less formal okay thirdly it is faster mode of dispute resolution and you know that how slow litigation is okay next one is it is comparatively cheaper way to find out the solution and litigation is of course expensive okay lastly adr encourages many other disputants to quit the litigation and choose adr as it reduces delays so these are the major advantages or benefits of adr okay now let's discuss what are the reasons of growth of adr in india that is basically in modern india though while discussing the historical background we have seen that adr is centuries old concept and methods of dispute resolution in india but in the present context in modern india what were the reasons okay because of which adr grew okay so let's check out following are some of the important reasons the first one is the ratio of courts judges and number of cases are very wide and it creates an inadequacy and unpredictability within the justice delivery system you know that how many cases are pending inside the court okay so because of that people are started migrating towards adr okay this is the first reason second one the complex and lengthy laws and arduous legal procedures along with absolute continuation of some pre existing legal statutes discourage people to choose litigation okay what does it mean that this sentence simply saying that we have very complex and lengthy laws and the legal procedures are so painful are so you can say again complicated because it needs certain kind of procedure because you need to follow certain kind of procedure which is of course sometime painful okay and not only this there are certain systems which are so old even then we are practicing that we are pursuing that so collectively these things discourage people to choose litigation these days and next one is the increasing cost of litigation and prosecuting or defending a case are another demotivating point the court fees lawyers fees and incidental expenses everything is increasing like anything so regarding the 
cost of litigation we know that how much expensive it is whereas adr in comparison to litigation is frugal very economic okay lastly delay in disposal of cases increasing the pendency in all the courts because the number of cases pending in the court every day growing okay which is one of the biggest causes of distraction for the parties in disputes so these four are the major reasons of growth of adr in india so this is all about the adr that is alternative dispute resolution in my next video i will discuss about the types of adr okay so keep watching <music>